one. Okay, so now this uh, yellow is semi wet fabric. It is washed with a plain water, and I'm gonna fold it into certain kind of uh, triangles. So you can fold it in pleats or triangles, whichever way you want. And we want it a little bit semi wet so that color seeps in faster. So this is how semi uh, uh, wet fabric, not totally dry, and I'm folding it again into some kind of pleats. So I said we can give a grayish or blackish tinge to this yellow. So natural dyes are very, very, uh, you know, you can mix one with the other. You can mix yellow with red. You can mix gray with red, gray with yellow. So right now the gray source or the black source is with me as ferrous sulfate that we have shown you. And this is my dry ferrous sulfate. I have some cold water. So very little water, as much as you need for dipping it. In fact, this is even more, so I'm going to reduce it. So very little water and this is my fold. I'm not going to dip it fully. I'll just dip the... So this is my fold and I'm going to dip it only the corners into this black water and see what happens. You can make it as small as you want. But if I go further, the shape is not coming out okay. So I'm just stopping here. So folds, folds, folds in triangle. And I take a little bit of this ferrous sulfate. So you can get it easily into the market and we need only uh, 2, 3 or 5 grams. We take it in cold water and we start dissolving it. So you won't see any color right now. It is just a sort of plain water with a little of uh, this grey tinge appearing. Yellow grey. That's all. There is no color in this. You would see almost transparent water. And when I react it with any of the natural dye, it would take up the color of I mean the color of the fabric uh, which we have dyed with the natural dye, uh, that natural dye will take up a darker tone because of this ferrous sulfate. So it's not a color but any color dipped into ferrous sulfate would make it darker. So this is my yellow and I'm gonna dip it into one part of it. Just keep it here. It's a cold water, natural water, nothing else. So you see this is becoming darker. You see a darker tone happening here. Okay, so this uh, yellow is becoming dark yellow or a grayish yellow. So this is what I'm going to dip another part of it. So the more ferrous sulfate you give, the more would be the uh, darkness of the gray that you get. So the idea of folds is that you don't get it everywhere. If you want it every, everywhere, take enough water and after dyeing it with some color, dip it into this plain water with the ferrous sulfate, cold water, nothing, no, no fire, no temperature, it's just a cold process. So that way we are saving a lot of energy as well. So this is my yellow, taking up the grey. And let's say I open it now. So either you let it dry and then open it, it will take a darker tinge a little bit because of the oxidation process. And oxygen plus iron would keep giving you darker tones but right now I'm just gonna open it up and show you what happens so we open it up mm -hmm. so you will see little little dark black lines grayish lines happening here so if you want more gray you can put, add in more of ferrous sulfate too. So this is what we got, a little bit of grey texture onto our yellow and this can be as artistic as you want. So now this ferrous sulphate is not very skin friendly, I am washing it into water. So wash it nicely and then again we dry this. So after drying, more dark. So that's what we got. <laughs> so this is the corner that we dipped. It has the maximum of grey. If you want more grey, I can show you. We can add more ferrous sulphate. Quantity more goes into it. Cold water again. Keep stirring to dissolve it. Oh, that's easy. 
so there is a little bit of uh, yellow pigment in this and you can get uh, you can see the small uh, amount of grayish tinge coming to the water okay so now we dip this fully let's see what happens so the whole fabric is dipped into it and as you can see a darker tone of gray to yellow is coming so this is what happens when we have an iron salt and a yellow so let's say you have a red or a pink you dip it in this ferrous sulfate you will get a darker gray tone of that so it is basically uh, you know two pigments uh, together in a fabric and they make one is a dark one is a light and they make a middle tone when we see that so this is quite an intense kind of a gray yellow that we got because we had added more salt to it kind of a color very nice and we can wash it in plain water and then soapy water and we can have our, our fabric ready so nothing else to do okay I'm washing it okay, here we got, let's go. oh, such a deep greenish yellow olive green kind of a color because that yellow pomegranate yellow is towards the greenish uh, side that's what we got and when it dries up a little bit of intensity would be gone but still you can have a lot of this bright green it's almost like the leaves that we are having here olive green yeah so that's what we get by differing the intensity of uh, parasite yeah okay done <laughs>